So you got in your truck and your truck just won't turn over. In this video, I'm going to be talking about some things that might be causing your truck not to start. First thing I want to suggest to you guys is try and get familiar with your truck as much as you can. Um, some trucks are equipped with a low voltage cutoff system on there. So if you leave your lights on overnight, the truck will automatically cut off some power to the truck so it can have enough juice to crank over. And sometimes when you come in a truck, you will notice that some functions on the truck is not working. That's because the low voltage cutoff um, switch system um, cut off certain power to the truck. So some things might not work, but your truck will start, right? But sometimes your truck won't start even though the system cut off um, some some power to the truck just for you to have enough juice to um, start the truck up. If you leave your truck um, for a long period of time, let's just say you went on days off or you you went you know you have like a family emergency and you you've been you've been away for like two weeks three weeks a month i don't know but you left something in your truck that's really really draining the battery even though the system cut it off sometimes some 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 things might still pass to the battery draining it slowly draining it slowly and when you come back it still won't be enough juice for you to crank that engine over but if you come back and you notice that your low voltage is beeping or it's it's, it's sending sending some signal to the dashboard and you look and you see that the low voltage is lit or whatever and making noise then i would suggest you charge up your battery and then try and start it up again and that should start start the truck another problem that um, drivers have out there that cause their truck not to start is with the battery. So let's go to the battery down here and let me talk about some of the things that can go wrong with the battery. All right, so we're at the battery compartment and sometimes these terminals here will come loose over the years, over the months, whatever right they come loose sometimes if they wasn't properly tightened right so just make sure you go over your terminals check the bolts um make sure they're tight and make sure all these nuts are really secure if you come across some of them or one of them that's not tight tighten it and i guarantee you your truck will start up now, if you notice that your terminals are good, like everything is tight, right? But you notice there's a lot of gunk, there's a lot of dirt, there's a lot of green stuff. I would suggest that you you clean them up, put them back on, tighten them down, go back in your truck and try and start the truck. And that should um, get your truck running once again. Also... On some trucks some trucks have fuses on there so there's a lot of fuse that can go bad on your trucks but the main one that probably will cause you you know your truck not to start up sometimes is right around the battery compartment area so check your fuses make sure your fuse are good another thing that might be causing your truck not to start is with the starter guys so let me try and get you over to my starter here. All right, so we can't really see the starter from here, but I'm gonna point at it uh, where it's at. So those two red wires are attached to the starter. The starter is right in this area right here, right down there. That's the starter down there. And these two red wires down here, red, red cables are attached to the starter. So that's where the starter is. When you try and start up your truck, and you have enough juice but it won't turn over go under your truck 
and see if you you have any broken wires or loose bolts on the starter. If you have some loose bolts or whatever, um, loose nuts, tighten them down and go back in your truck and try and start it up. And sometimes your starter is going. Your starter is, you know, need to be replaced. And a good indication that your starter need to be replaced is you will go on here and you will knock it and then you try and start your truck. If you knock it and you start up your truck and you try and crank it over and your truck start, then you need to replace your starter as as soon as you can. Um, sometimes if you have help, sometimes if you have help, you will, um, you know, hack somebody to knock the starter. Then you will come back in your truck while you crank it, while you crank the truck over, somebody is knocking the starter. So that will kind of shock the starter and make the starter start up the truck. Hey right, guys, so those are some of the things that I recommend you guys check and do to try and get your truck to start. Sometimes when you go in your truck and you know you you press the horn, your horn will work or you turn on your headlight, your headlight would work, but sometimes it's still not enough juice to crank that engine over. So don't think because your horn work, your headlight work, your doom light work, um, sometimes it's just a little bit, you need a little bit more juice just to get that engine crank over. So um, keep that in mind. Anyway guys, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next video.